हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस हेयर वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर वन ऑन ईएसआर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी व्हिच इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी लेट अस सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट आर फ्री रेडिकल्स द एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स molecular fragments or ions having unpaired electron are called free radicals let us see it again any atom molecule molecular fragment or ion having an unpaired electron is called a free radical a few examples of free radicals are given below chlorine atom has seven valence electrons out of them one electron is unpaired and hence chlorine atom is a free radical no2 molecule has one unpaired electron on nitrogen atom and hence it is also a free radical ch3 is a molecular fragment and it contains one unpaired electron on carbon atom and hence it is a free radical on the other hand naphthalene radical anion which is negatively charged also has one unpaired electron and it is also a free radical thus cl no2 ch3 and naphthalene radical anion are some common examples of free radicals let us introduce the chapter esr spectroscopy the branch of spectroscopy which deals with the absorption of microwave frequency by free radicals is called electron a spin resonance esr spectroscopy or electron magnetic resonance emr spectroscopy or electron paramagnetic resonance epr spectroscopy the branch of spectroscopy which deals with the absorption of microwave radiation by free radicals is called esr emr or epr spectroscopy the free radicals are very short lived species that is they have very short life period and they occur in very low concentration during the course of reaction and therefore any method used for studying free radicals should be able to measure them accurately even in very low concentration at high speeds let us see it again free radicals have very short life period and they are present in very low concentration during the course of reaction and therefore any method which can be used for the study of free radicals should measure the free radicals even in very low concentrations at high speeds the esr spectroscopy is the most sensitive and rapid method for the study of free radicals esr spectroscopy can measure free radicals rapidly and even in very low concentration and therefore it is the most suitable tool most suitable technique for the study of free radicals the free radicals having lifetime greater than about 1 microsecond if the free radical has lifetime greater than 10 to the power minus 6 second 
इट कैन बी स्टडीड ई एस बाई ई एस आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन रूटीन मैनर बट द फ्री रेडिकल्स हैविंग लाइफ पीरियड शॉर्टर देन टेन टू दावर माइनस सिक्स सेकेंड कैन बी स्टडीड बाई ई एस आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी बाई लोअरिंग द टेम्परेचर इन सॉलिड स्टेट सिंस इट इंक्रीजेज दियर लाइफ टाइम इट इज कॉल्ड मैट्रिक्स टेक्निक लेट अस सी इट अगेन इफ ए फ्री रेडिकल हैज लाइफ पीरियड greater than 10 to the power minus 6 second it can be studied by esr spectroscopy in routine manner but if the free radical has life period smaller than 10 to the power minus 6 second it can be studied by esr spectroscopy by lowering the temperature and keeping the free radical in solid state and these two measures increase the life period of free radicals and this technique is called matrix technique basic principle of esr spectroscopy the negatively charged electron has spins about its axis it produces an angular momentum which is called a spin angular momentum the negatively charged electron spins about its axis and this motion of electron produces an angular momentum which is known as a spin angular momentum the spin angular momentum of electron is given by the following relationship and it is a spin angular momentum of electron is equal to under root s into s plus 1 into h by 2 by here s is a spin angular momentum quantum number of electron this s is a spin angular momentum quantum number of electron and its value is 1 by 2 not plus half or minus half it is simply 1 by 2 the spin angular momentum is an intrinsic property of electron like its rest mass and charge there are some intrinsic properties of electron and these are rest mass of electron its charge and a spin angular momentum every electron has exactly the same value of a spin angular momentum and it is equal to 0.866 into h by 2 pi which can be calculated as follows every electron has fixed amount of rest mass charge and a spin angular momentum the spin angular momentum of all the electrons is exactly the same and it is equal to 0.866 into h by 2 pi and it can be calculated as follows calculation of a spin angular momentum of electron which is given by the following relationship under root s into s plus 1 into h by 2 pi the value of s is 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 will be equal to 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 will be equal to 3 by 4 into h by 2 pi the square root of 3 is equal to 1.732 and the square root of 4 is 2 into h by 2 pi and the result is 0.866 into h by 2 pi this is the a spin angular momentum of electron the spin angular momentum of electron is a vector quantity and it is denoted by an arrow 
the spin angular momentum of electron is a vector quantity and it is denoted by an arrow the spin angular momentum vector of the electron cannot have any arbitrary orientation in the space the arrow representing a spin angular momentum of the electron is called a spin angular momentum vector and this vector cannot have any arbitrary orientation in the space only those orientations of the spin angular momentum vector of the electron in the space are permissible whose component along the specified direction that is z axis is given by the following relationship the spin angular momentum vector of electron cannot have any arbitrary orientation in the space only those orientations of the spin angular momentum vector of electron in the space are permissible which component along z axis is given by the following relationship and it is known as the principle of a space quantization a spin angular momentum of electron along z axis must be given by ms into h by 2 pi here ms is magnetic a spin quantum number of electron and it can have value plus half or minus half s has only 1 by 2 value while ms can have values plus half or minus half thus there are two possible orientations of a spin angular momentum vector of electron in the space as illustrated diagrammatically on the next slide only two orientations of a spin angular momentum vector of electron in the space are possible in accordance with this principle of a space quantization because ms can have two values plus half and minus half two possible orientations of a spin angular momentum vector of electron are given here this is a spin angular momentum vector of electron having magnitude 0.866 into h by 2 pi and it can be oriented in the space in two directions one direction is given here and this is another direction the direction of a spin angular momentum vector of electron should be in such a manner that its component along z axis is equal to plus half into h by 2 pi or minus half into h by 2 pi this electron having a spin in the upward direction is called is said to have alpha spin here the value of ms is plus half ms is plus half and the vector is in the upward direction such electron having ms is equal to plus half is said to have alpha spin on the other hand this electron has ms minus half this ms is minus half and the spin angular momentum vector is represented in downwards direction it is said to have beta spin the value of ms is minus half thus there are two orientations of a spin angular momentum vector of electron one has ms is equal to plus half and it is it has alpha spin the other has ms is equal to minus half and it has beta spin now the time for self assessment calculate the angle between 
द स्पिन एंगुलर मोमेंटम वेक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ अल्फा स्पिन एंड द जेड एक्सिस वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एंगल बिटवीन अ स्पिन एंगुलर मोमेंटम वेक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ अल्फा स्पिन एंड जेड एक्सिस हेयर इज द सॉल्यूशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन a space quantization of spin angular momentum vector of electron the spin angular momentum vector of electron in the space can have two orientations this is alpha spin the electron having alpha spin has a spin angular momentum vector along this direction and we have to find out this value this angle theta we have already seen that the component of this a spin angular momentum vector of electron along z axis is equal to 0.866 into h by 2 cos theta this is the component of this a spin angular momentum vector along z axis and it should be Equal to plus half into h by two pi. H by two pi, h by two pi will be cancelled out. This is zero point five, and cos theta will be equal to zero point five divided by zero point eight six six. That is, cos theta is equal to zero point five seven seven, and it is the value of cos fifty five degree, and therefore. the value of theta is nothing but 55 degree thus the angle between a spin angular momentum a spin angular momentum vector of electron with alpha spin and z axis is 55 degree thank you for watching the video with concentration please like share and subscribe it we will meet shortly with lecture number 2 on esr spectroscopy thank you again